All right, Coach, uh, how many champs for the Arizona State Sun Devils today here at Edinburgh? Uh, I think we'd have to add them up. We five. had several. Five? five? Sounds I think five about chance. right. Five chance. Uh, looking, okay, 149 is my, my thing right out of the gate. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we've got two great guys there. We're still in the process of settling it. I think, you know, today pretty much showed what we're going to do, but you never know until you get to the Pac-12. Looking at Kraus, Kraus has had, uh, he's had a good year. He's ranked 14th in the country right now. And Peg DeLeo, last year, he makes the NCAA tournament for you. Was he your Pac champ last year? Yeah, he was Pac-12 champ. He was a top 12 seed at the NCAA tournament too. So I think we're getting to that place like a 149 where we're getting some quality depth, right? Where either guy that goes to the NCAA tournament can be an All-American. And that's what we're trying to build. Will we, okay, so I guess the next question is, you got three really good guys for two eights. Will we see one of those guys potentially migrate up and challenge Oliver at 157? I mean, that's certainly a discussion that we'll have when we get back. Uh, you know, Oliver was third in the tournament here. Uh, you know, he's been competing well, and I think he may already have a qualifying spot So to the conference meet. So it's really, it's really undecided right now. We're still trying to determine what we're going to do. Looking at Blake at 184, you know, a tough match where really guy did, any, neither guy did anything, Coach, in my opinion. One committed shot, and it was by Blake. They're doing all this crazy grip fighting, but it comes down to him getting ridden out. He loses that match for third and fourth last year. What do you say to Blake after the last time to Avery today? Well, I, you know, I told him win or lose this bout, it's a good bout he needed. He needed to be under stress, get his heart rate up, get his lungs burning hard. You know, I, I, I told him it was almost. You almost finished the takedown. You almost got out of legs. You almost rode it. But almost don't doesn't get your hand raised. And so I think Blake is the kind of guy that when he loses, he gets better from it. And he really came back and wrestled well coming back through. So I think it's not going to kill him but make him stronger. Shields wins at 65 for you guys. He's redshirting. Mm -hmm. What do you, you know, what do you say to a guy like that who's redshirting? Makes a trip all the way back home. He's from here, right? Uh, yep. He's a Pennsylvania boy, right down the road. And what do we say? We say good job. That's what we expect you to do, right? And we expect to see you get your hand raised. Expect to see you get a, a title, a gold medal. And I think he's on track. It's like anything. He's a, a freshman trying to figure it out. You know, trying to figure out, you know, Division One college wrestling. And I think he made a big breakthrough today. Looking at 184, Zahid is just like, you know, talking to him, super nice kid. He's redshirting his brother, Olympic redshirting. Kind of a big difference there. I don't think a lot of people know that they're, one guy's doing yeah, one thing, one's doing right. the other. You get to keep the other guy around longer, actually. That's right. You can also, you can Olympic redshirt and also regular redshirt later. So that's an advantage for Anthony. And there are more things you can do in Olympic redshirt. So Anthony's been training and competing around the country. And uh, where Zahid's doing a regular redshirt, obviously this is his one time to redshirt. And I think today he shows that he's putting, making some progress towards that. But make no mistake, they're not there yet. They're not there yet, you know. I didn't see anybody in the top 10 in any other weight classes that we got our hand raised against. But like anything, when you're talking about baby steps, they made those today. Those are your guys, I think, for me personally, when I look at your program, that would be the future branding of your program. I think that's where you're gonna get your trophies from when you build around those guys. How important is it to build around those two guys? Well, certainly they're the foundation of the program in the future. You know, it's not like we're thinking about next year though. We're thinking about this year right now, who can we get on the podium? How high can we get them up on the podium? But as you talk to the future, there's certainly those guys that they will be the foundation of Arizona State success, not even for five years, but eight and 10 years down the road. Because as you know, these guys just don't want to be national champions. They want to be world and Olympic champions. And they're on that path right now. Look at no Tanner Hall today. You had Chant Eskim. Yep. He was in the finals. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I look at all these guys. You don't bring Tanner. Why are you bringing some guys and not bringing others? Well, it's just, a, you know, there, there are a variety of reasons why we do it. It's, uh, you know, just physical, mental. We wanted to do a 10-day training cycle with Tanner. We thought that was smarter than to bring him to another tournament. He's had plenty of competition under his belt. He's got 25 matches. I think we need to focus more on improvement than competing. He's got lots of information. So we're in a 10-day training cycle right now. Oregon State's had a stranglehold on the, the Pac-12. You know, what are you guys gonna do? You beat them in a duel. What do you gotta do to, to take the Pac-12 title home this year with you Well, guys? it's like anything. You gotta do the small things and you gotta show up and gotta cut your weight well. You gotta get mentally tough when the bout gets tough. And you gotta get on a roll and you gotta score bonus. As you know, championships, I don't care if it's a conference meet or the Olympic gold medal, world title, team titles, 
it comes from bonus points. You got to do the small things right. You got to come to fight that day. You got to come to battle. And uh, I think the team is making that progress over the last six weeks where we've made a jump and we're going to need to continue to make another jump before we get there. 1988, the only team ever west of the Rocky Mountains, Arizona State University, wins NCAA Division I wrestling. Bobby Douglas is the head coach. Can you guys do that again? Can you bring the, t the team title back home in the next five years? It's, it's certainly a bullseye for us, right? I mean, any team that wants to be the best in the country, you got to say you want to be a national championship team. It's ultimately going to be up to these kids and how hard they're willing to work what they're willing to sacrifice, what they're committed to do, and the discipline that it requires to win a championship. And, uh, you know, make no mistake, there's Penn State's, Iowa's, Oklahoma State's, Ohio State's out there that want that same title too. But we just have to be in the battle, we have to be in the fight, we have to do the work every day, and the chips will fall where they do. I look at that 1988 team, two Ohio guys on the team, you know, two finalists, two, you know, it's incredible. How much do you guys got to get into Ohio, PA, Jersey, in the East You Coast? have to. You have to. That team had Ohio kids on it, it had Michigan kids on it, and it also had three Arizona kids on it. And I think it's going to take a combination of obviously the in-state talent, we need to keep the best kids there, but we have to get the best Ohio kids, we have to get the best Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, and as you know, we have to put a fence around California, because in a way we are a part of California. All right. What's the travel like home? Uh, nice. Leave at 7 in the morning, home at 9.30, I'm cooking ribs for the Super Bowl. My wife's got me fired up for the grill. You got anything else for me? No. Glad to be here. Thanks for the time. You guys are great.